What's going on, everyone? It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. I got a swather that I made today, and up until a few months ago, I never heard of a swather. Um, I live in Missouri in the U.S., and the area where I live, we don't have a lot of flat farmland. So when I saw this on a video, um, just scrolling through random farming-related videos, it piqued my interest. So... Here we are, actually made one, minifig scale. And if you don't know what a swather is, um, I'd challenge you, look it up. There's videos on there on YouTube about it. But basically it's a wind rower. Um, it's got big cutters on it. So if you're cutting hay or wheat, I think I heard somebody, oh, there's all kinds of different crops that you can add different headers to. Similar to a combine, except all it's doing is cutting it and putting it in a wind row, which is kind of, it just, you cut it and it shoots it out right in the center here below the tires to where, like if you're familiar with hay with the, like a sickle bar and then a wind row rake, and then you go through and bale it. Well, this kind of does two in one to where it already cuts it. Um breaks a lot of the fibers up to take a lot of the moisture out to make it dry faster and then puts it in a windrow for you. So it's a new addition to the farm, but let's take a look at it. I'm going to put this up on the tripod and we'll take a look and see what this thing is. And we'll compare it to my custom combine just for size. Okay, my swather here you can turn it sideways you can see the wheels have that little kick to them they're not really supposed to do that i just wanted them like this because the way this thing turns the rear wheels turn similar to a combine harvester but i wanted to do this just because they're kind of on that weird plane of this and that's about the best i could do to kind of get that look which if you see some videos or if you see other videos or I'm going to add some photos here throughout the video, just kind of insert them in, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, let's get, uh, we'll open this up. So you have access, just a little access panel, get into the engine. We've got our stairs here to get in. Um, use that six... It's a three by six. It's kind of a rare piece, hard to find with that wider frame. But anyway, there's our control center. We've got our little things on the side. Those are just meant to represent mirrors. Um, added a little bit on the back just for some counterbalance weight. That's actually where the radiator's at on this machine. Um, Yes, it does raise up, and while it really, in real life, doesn't raise like that exactly, it's more of a straight-up plane like this. In a minifig scale, let's <laughs> kind of take what you can get. Um, it's meant to be my hydraulic lines for the cutter piece. Um, bottom of it, there's no cutter piece to it. I actually need to add a just a little bit different piece here just to show the chute coming out. It's when these little cutter heads, all little spinner, basically blades, just like a, almost, not like a lawnmower, but same concept, uh, shoot everything out through here and it just wind rows right under the center of the machine toward, and then you've got a wind row going down through here to come up and bail. But, like I was saying, I had to add some weight on the back just to make sure when I'd raise this up that it didn't want to flip up like that and raise the tires up and make it look stupid like it does yeah, like that. I did add some little just basic features. I tried to add the slow moving vehicle orange. That's why that's there. Rear, rear lights, um, front lights right there. Got our safety light on the top. I like how that hot dog, the black hot dog piece, I incorporated that just to add the little, 
kind of exhaust thing. So I, I was kind of impressed with the way that turned out better than expected. Uh, I'll put my minifigure in here so you guys can see that. I'm not sure if the cowboy hat, it should fit. Yeah, there's no problem. I'm, I wasn't sure on clearance. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. But that's his operator station. So I'm gonna end up putting this on my farm. I, I might do that here. Well, no, because I've got my winter village or winter scene kind of going on, so I can't really add it to the Lego farm right now. Because I've got I'm in the process of a reindeer farm. But all right, here's my custom combine harvester. If you missed it, check that video out. This one does have the steering on it, which was one of my great feats. And we've got our kickstand, or kickstand, our stairs that retract up. Um, hopper on the inside. And the front of that also does the same thing where it raises. It may not want to stay, but it does raise. But from a comparison standpoint, that's what I wanted to do. Let's zoom this thing out. I didn't realize it was so far in. Okay. So you can see, it's honestly not that far off from real life. Knowing this isn't a huge, you have to understand, this isn't one of the huge, huge combines. The 40 plus row header, or 40 row header. I've just got a little six row header here, so it's a lot smaller real life i mean my lego farm isn't huge so i didn't need a huge combine now keeping that in mind making sure that's a smaller combine the swather is not that much smaller from a price standpoint i don't know on how much a you know, new swather costs i'm sure hundred thousands kind of like half a million to a million for a huge combine but they're meant to go really fast through the fields as long as you have flat ground. So as long as the ground is totally flat, yeah, that's the ideal machine. But for the rest of us that live around areas where you gotta cut on hills, slopes, have valleys, drainage ditches and things like that, you gotta cut around. Yeah, the tractor and the sickle bar or tractor and the some kind of cutter, and then rake it up, then bale it, that's yeah anyway that's for that um trying to think just having a little mental block of other things to add to it like i said i just learned about the swather so there's a lot that i don't know about i've watched four or five videos to try to just learn a little bit more about them when they're used other kind of row crops or just field crops, not just really a hay or straw material, but I even thought they said sorghum. Um, you can add, if you know, add other things. In the comments, add other crops that you guys have seen these things harvest. I know you can change out the headers just like you can a combine. I hadn't really got into that part yet. I, think, I don't think I'm going to make other headers like I have this one. I think this is just going to be straight for this. We'll put it out on the farm, probably when we get to the summer months. You'll see this thing again. At some point, I'm going to do a, a compilation video of all my custom farm machinery builds, tractors, swathers, uh, and then I'll probably do another one of just all tractor implements or attachments. Anyway, yep, just a quick video today. I had to build this because I saw it, and it was really, really interesting to me and i'm like oh it's an interesting design it's a little bit different than a combine so there you go thanks for watching everyone hopefully you guys liked it check out my other farming videos if you're interested i have a lot of farming videos my whole custom farm there's videos all over that john deere stuff other color tractor stuff as well or my batman tractor if you haven't seen that <laughs> why because i can Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.